So today is pretty exciting. I have another Korean jail haul and this time it is from Kiss New York Korean site. So yes, I finally got my hands on the Kiss Korean gels that they have over there that are much nicer than the ones we have here. I know y'all been asking me for a long time if Kiss would be bringing the Korean gels that they have here. Um, the answer is no. I had to search high and low on how to get these, but we got them. This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. So this is what I got. You guys have been asking me about the Tinker Gel. So I have Tinker Gel Adventure, Tinker Gel Neverland, and Carrot Shining Big Bold. And the last thing is, I don't know if I, I don't think I ordered this. I think this was just a free gift. This is the Mellow Hand Cream. So these are the sets that I got and you guys won't believe how much this was. $428 and not to mention the shipping was another $150. So please give this video a thumbs up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I first got one of this because of Emily Susanna. She sent over a link to a video where a girl was swatching one of the Tinker Gel Kiss products. And she was like, oh, you should definitely do this. And I was like, oh, that'll be fun. But where I'm going to get this? So I went to the Kiss New York Pro Korean website. And I tried to use Google Translate like I always do for like foreign sites when I try to buy stuff. And it just wasn't working, okay? <laughs> Emily came through once again. She told me about this website where they order the products for you and ship them to you and that's what I did so thank you Emily Susanna she also got me this pretty carnigan for my birthday so you know this is just a just a just an ode to Emily <laughs> but anyway let's get into these so the first one here is the Tinker Gel Adventure and this is what it looks like I haven't seen any of the Korean Kiss products um you guys have been telling me that they are so much better than the ones they have here and just looking at the box I totally agree <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the adventure set. Okay, it has a magnet with it and it's just the Kiss New York Gel Pro. So I did notice that on the Kiss US site, they do have gel, gel polish now. It's just like, you know, the basic cream colors, you know, not the fun stuff. <laughs> um, so anyway, oh, okay. This is, this is just how they do it. Korea does it differently, okay, with the nail products. So this is what the box looks like. You know what, where's my phone? I wanna see if I can translate this. Let's see. A new Tinker's adventure story. Tinker's sweet and thrilling adventure full of happiness begins. That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this set comes with uh, 12 gels. Oh, this is just a piece in here. And a magnet. So let's get them out. Ooh, the bottles are cute. Okay, let me get them out so we can swatch them. All right, let's get a closer look of the bottle. It's kind of hard to see, but the, you know, it's white, but it also has like shimmery. So I'm guessing this is magnetic as well. So this is color KG85. 8K Tinker Crystal. Okay, we got some English on. Let's open it up. Oh, it's actually silver. <laughs> Here, I'm thinking it was white. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so this one is smooth. I wonder if you would probably need a base with this. Probably, huh? So I'm just gonna cure this one like this so this will be our background. And just to kind of give y'all a better, little soft, silvery color. Oh. And they have that sweet smell that the Korean polishes always have. <laughs> I'm gonna put another layer down. Oh. There is definitely a difference. <laughs> Why are Korean polishes so good? Okay, so two coats of that. And let's see if we can have this magnet do something. Okay, you get you get little pieces there. It's very, very sheer. You definitely want to put this on top of something, I'm sure. Or maybe this is the one that goes on top of them all. Is that is that how it works? <laughs> but anyway, that is what that looks with uh, background 
My nails are horrid. <laughs> We're gonna take care of them today. So that's what that looks like. I love the exaggerated handles. It is so much easier to hold the bottle, I must say. So next we have this one. And this one is Tinker Haze. And all right, so, okay. Oh, I love the way these smell. <laughs> so the magnet polishes, they have a slightly thinner formula rightfully so because the pieces have to move okay let's just oh <laughs> okay wait a second we gotta try that again magnet was too close and all right nice little flicker that is tinker haze next we got this one and this is tinker bumblebee Ooh cute okay it's more golden daffodil and so yeah because these are a bit thinner i would recommend maybe having a cream base as you know the background color or i mean you can wear it like this however you want to do it you can do it but i think it will show up a little more oh it won't be as sheer because you know as you can see it's you know if this is the look you're going for then perfect so let's see the cat's eye it's very subtle i'll have to do these on top because they are the metal um magnetic polishes but i do want to see maybe what two coats will look like so swinging back to the what was this per uh tinker haze uh let's do a second coat of this to see you know so we can get our full you know color payoff to see what it looks like you know kudos to any of you who tried to buy this <laughs> it was definitely a process but yeah i had emailed the contact information on the kiss korean website and i was like hey i'm interested in buying this and blah 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 and then they're like oh you know we're not able to sell to the u.s market and he sent me to the u.s website and was like do you like any of these gel polishes i can place you in order and i'm like eh. no <laughs> so let's see but that is what it's looking like i wonder if we can get you can see a little better. Okay. So, you know, you get you a deeper little jelly magnetic twinkle polish. She cute. What would two of you look like? Okay. The color and the coverage is definitely buildable. And it's not a super thin formula. It's just, you know, it's thinner. <laughs> it's thinner, but it's not watery or anything like that. So, let's see what two coats. Very soft color i don't know i'm not really a fan of this like greenish tint yellow i don't know so next we got this gorgeous pink color tinker rouge okay and oh i kind of like this without using the magnet it's crazy like what is that sweet smell <laughs> <laughs> a Prey and V Beauty Pure, their formulas are pretty similar to what I will say is a Korean gel, but they don't smell sweet. Like, these actually smell sweet. If y'all can tell me what chemical that is <laughs> in the comments, let me know. All right, a one coat magnet. Okay, and two. Right? Like, this color is pretty without the special effects. See, this looks new for me because, you know, black girl magic. But <laughs> this one is cute. Okay, let's see what... Let me do it from the bottom. Does that make a difference? Okay, we get like a zigzag design or... Okay. This is what we get. You know, she is soft. She is subtle. All right, so next we got this one. And this is Tinker Denim. And I say that name matches. On. Okay. So that is one coat. Let's do the magnet. Ooh, shimmer, shimmer. So I am just shocked that, this, that these are KISS products. We all know the KISS that we know are the DIY kits and nail polish, you know, 
just kind of the entry level, I would say, nail products. But man, if they brought this here, I think they will kill it, okay? This is what we need. <laughs> um, I, I just, you know, maybe a couple years ago, it probably wouldn't have been a good business move. But now, since like Korean gels are being very popularized now here, I think they need to come on. Sell this on the website. So that is two coats. And okay, you get, you get some coverage. Next we have green. This is color Tinker Pear. The names are really, really cute. And... I like this color, giving citrus vibes. All right, magnet. Okay. And a second coat. Just a little light shimmer, twinkle. The tinker. <laughs> Just a little twinkle in it is really pretty. Magnet. You can barely tell it did anything on that one. I like the polish, honestly, just without using the magnet. Okay. You can play around with it, but that is Tinker Pear. Next, we have orange. And this is oh, Tinker Yam, okay? Oh, yeah. That looks like yams. <laughs> Marcus cooked us some yams last night, and that is the color of them. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous. A pretty golden orange. This color's making me hungry. <laughs> I think we have a little bit of yams left. So as far as the leveling, it does self-level. You know, you gotta play around with it a little bit. Don't wanna put too much on either. She levels. The formula is good. Kiss is doing a thing over there in South Korea. Bring that thing over here. <laughs> Cause it'd be really nice and I have to pay so much to get these. Ugh, I almost didn't do it. I'm like, this is getting pricey. <laughs> A second coat. Isn't that just the most beautiful golden orange color that you ever did see? It's really giving pumpkin spice vibes. And little Sam Sam. So that is Tinker Yam. Next we got this one, Tinker Iris. Ooh, okay, I like this one. Ooh. So dreamy. One coat, see the sheerness, okay. Y'all see what I'm talking about though? Like, don't it look so good without even using the magnet? But because that is what it is, let's see. Ooh. See, I think depending on the color, the pieces kind of show up a little better <laughs> on colors like this. And a second coat. Like, just the formula is really nice. Okay. All right, so this is the second coat. Get y'all background to look at. All right. That and what it looks like on my finger. Can, okay, once it's kind of on a dark background, you can't really see that much. Tinker Iris. Another pink. Tinker Berry. And. So this collection has a few pinks in them, various shades. This is a little similar, you know, to one of the previous shades, but a shade darker. Slight variation. Y'all know I'm a sucker for pink. <laughs> okay. Too cute. Let's do our cat's eye on the right side. Okay. And a second coat. And. All right, two coats. Let's see how she looks on my finger. Okay. It's giving like a deeper shimmery nude color. And then we have, looks to be like a light pink. What color is this? Tinker Crepe. On. Okay, this is a very light, soft color. Almost like a topper. With a little silver stripe, <laughs> string of metal. Okay, let me get y'all a better. Well, I guess that's not really better. 
<laughs> it kind of takes on whatever whatever colors the base. Oh, okay, never mind. I take that back. Look at you can barely see my nail underneath. You know, barely. <laughs> but that gives some good coverage for it to be such a sheer color. And that's what it looks like with two coats. Next, we got this color, Tinker Mint. And yeah, very minty. <laughs> it's a really light green. But yeah, I'm liking this better without the magnet. I kind of just like the specks just freely, <laughs> just being painted on. Oh, it's very soft. Can y'all even see the hint of green? I mean, I could see it in real life, but that is very soft. So just because we have the magnet, we have to use it. I feel like I have to use it. <laughs> so one coat and two coats. Yeah, this color looks way prettier in real life than it does on camera. Tinker Mint. I'm just figuring this out. Like it snaps closed. So it has these little squares on the side that kind of locks it, which is really cool. Just the small details like that, like they just do the gel polish better in Korea. So this is the last color, giving peachy vibes or salmon, <laughs> Tinker Salmon. Okay. So fun fact, I eat salmon like once a week. <laughs> I love salmon. <laughs> um, but you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that this is salmon color, but I do like the color. It's pretty. It really does have like a nice shimmer to it. Oh, one thing I did want to try. It doesn't seem thick enough for it though, but let's see. Can you like swirl in it? No, you can't. It fights back and it levels itself, which is what we want, but you can do a cat's eye. All right, one coat. It all just looks nude on my fingernail. <laughs> and, oh, okay. I like this one when it's layered up. And, okay, you can't, you can't barely see it, <laughs> but it's there. Okay, so this is two coats. So here are all the colors side by side. As you can see, they are cute. You know, these are two coats each. So this is what you would get with two coats. I did have like some really cute um, clear bears to come to do my swatches, but they didn't make it here in time. So I'll probably share that in a short, but I'm gonna put them on a card on this card so we can know the colors, but. If you didn't know, most of the gel polish sets from Korea comes with like a sample card so you can know what each color is. And of course, I need to show you guys what these look like in real life and with the um, cell phone flash. So, you know, my studio lights really don't give shimmers the justice it deserves. So here we go. But as you can see, we got some cute little shimmers. Okay, kiss. All right, so next we have the Tinker Gel Neverland. And this is what the box looks like. It's so cute. It got more words and stuff over here, so. I wanna know what it says. Okay, so this says, many nights, many dreams, a sweet Neverland suddenly unfolds. Oh, so poetic. <laughs> the sound of birds chirping, the gently blowing wind, this moment feels like a dream. Okay. <laughs> And open our box. All right, cards on top. And we have another saying here. Thank goodness for Google Translate. Neverland, a land of fantasy. Tinker, I'm guessing that's jail. Tinker jail and the eternal dream journey. We invite you to 12 brilliant and mysterious dream paradises. Ooh. Well, take me to paradise. <laughs> the shininess of the bottles. Okay, so we still have that same design. This is a uh, different shades, but we look like we still got the magnet going on here. So let's get these out and swatch them. 
So the color story with these, as you can see, they all are pretty similar. <laughs> so, you know, we shall see. All right, first up is this one. It is hollow and it is shimmering. Tinker Ash Green. All right, and you know, I'm not gonna take the name too literal, but I'm not really getting any type of green from this. Okay, we got our one coat. And that is what it looks like, one coat on a nail. Let's do our magnet. All right, shimmer, shimmer. And our second coat. I don't know, this is giving me like a champagne gold, that very light but shimmery gold. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so that is two coats. Let's see what it'll look like. Okay, you know, these are these are soft, subtle colors. And that is the magnet stripe. So that is two coats of the Tinker Ash Green. Ooh, next we got this one, Tinker Butter Rum. Oh, it's giving me like shimmery Weathers goodness. <laughs> yes, I like the Weathers original candy. <laughs> it's so good, I love butterscotch. One coat, ooh, magnet. All right, second coat. Lovely, lovely. And that's what we got. Yeah, I think I like this one better without. <laughs> without the magnets i just like the shimmer all right so that is tinker butter rum next we got this one tinker mauve so am i safe to assume the tinker collection are they all magnet all right so that is the first coat and this is what it looks like cute all right let's do our magnet yeah, when I use these, I probably wouldn't even use this magnet, but you know, I'm just showing y'all because this is a product review. <laughs> and second coat. But as you can see, the formula is still good. Smooth. We love it smooth and self-leveling. It look good with two coats. I like that. And magnet for the sake of the review. Okay. You know, yeah. <laughs> um, but I do like the color. And what was this? Uh, Tinker, Tinker Mauve. Next, we got this one. Pretty, if it's anything like the bottle. Tinker Dewberry. Oh, yeah. And, oh, this is a pretty color. Look kind of similar to one from, a, from the other set. Like I said, these colors are very close together as far as like their shades and, you know, it's just very slight differences. All right, one coat. Yes, she's given, you know, I got a little shimmer, but I'm still a boss. <laughs> and can you do like anything else with these? Yeah, to me, I feel like it's not enough pieces in there to like give, you know, that in your face magnet you know, swoop or whatever. Um, but, you know, very subtle. But the colors themselves is really giving the Tinkerbell vibes. Like, look, that is pretty on this own. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says. That is pretty. I would definitely just wear these like this. Cause, um, you know, I just, just feel like the magnet. Okay, I guess if, you, like, it's not really that many pieces to, mess around with, I don't know. But that is two coats. All right, I went ahead and fixed it just so, you know, continuity. <laughs> so this is what it will look like with your magnet pieces in the swoop. Next, we got this one, Tinker Lily Green. Y'all, I'm trying to, okay, I guess. It has like a green undertone, <laughs> very slight. Cause I'm like, I'm not seeing green in none of these colors. But you know, I can, I can see a slight green undertone. At the end, I'm gonna use my cell phone flash and we'll see if we can see more green. All right, but that is one coat. Let's see if having just a background. 
it's not it's not a intense <laughs> it's not like that green at all but i can see the slight undertone look at me speaking like i'm a makeup artist or something <laughs> and let's see up against my skin okay magnet okay got our little our shooting star swoop one coat of the lily green second coat when i put the second coat on i can definitely see more of the green undertone I guess it's slightly picking up on camera. These are definitely like IRL colors, okay? Because the camera be messing it up a little bit. <laughs> so that is a second coat. It's giving me more gray than anything. And sometimes gray has like a green undertone. So, you know, I get it, I get it. Magnet. And there we go. Our two coats, our shooting star, our Tinker Lily Green. Next, we got this one. Tinker Peacock Pink. Try to say that five times fast. <laughs> They're all so similar in color. I need to see them side by side so I can at least see the variations because to me, <laughs> all of these pinks and mauves, they look the same. One coat, one coat, magnet. You right? Our little shooting store. Okay, it kind of turns jellyish once you pull the magnetic pieces together. And second coat. So dreamy. I could just like look at the polishing of the swatch all day long. Oh, yes. Okay. Two coats. Two coats. Magnet. Yeah. We like it without the magnet, but just so y'all can see, that is two coats of the. Tinker Peacock Pink. <laughs> I almost forgot. Next we got this one. Tinker Toffee Brown. All right. I like toffee. Oh, come on now. Don't be too hard. <laughs> okay, there we go. And, ooh. Okay. It's definitely giving toffee vibes. All right. One coat. And that's what it looks like on a nail. This is what it looks like with the magnet and then the magnet on the nail. <laughs> Second coat. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is pretty. I love this brown with the shimmer. That is giving, I'm a boss. I like shimmer though, but you're gonna respect me. <laughs> that's what this is giving. <laughs> oh, that is nice. All right, so that's two coats. Let's do our magnet. And that's what it looks like with magnet work and on the nail. That's okay, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the cell phone footage. <laughs> it's gonna look a lot better. Next, we got this one, Tinker Dutch Blue. This is definitely giving gray sweatpants. <laughs> I love it, but I suppose I do see a very, very slight blue undertone. So one coat, a little shimmer on the nail, magnet. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And that's a lot of background. You know, you can see more of the blue, I say. And what it looks like on my finger. And a second coat. Ooh, okay. I like this one too. And two coats. And two coats. <laughs> and we got this one, Tinker Pale Gold. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely giving that champagne gold. This one is a lot sheerer than the others. Ooh, but it's cute. Okay, little shimmer. <laughs> and let's do our second coat. Yeah, I definitely would say do not judge these colors by the first coat, okay? Give them two. Give them a chance. They may surprise you. Because, <laughs> uh, look at this. I was going to say this one is really sheer, but it's not. I mean, it is, but build it up. You know what I'm saying? Two coats of this is amazing. Looks really good. All right, let's see what our magnet does. I'll be trying to match up the line. If you mess with it too much though, they kind of go away. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And it's what it looks like on my finger. And that is two coats of the Tinker Pale Gold. Next, we got this one, Tinker Red Coral. And trying to 
smooth it all out. One coat of the Tinker Red Coral. See what that looks like. Okay. Pretty similar <laughs> to the others. And our little shooting star. And I'm trying to <laughs> keep my shadow out the way, but it's cool. Y'all can see. All right. Two coats. Still looks really good. And our shooting star trail. <laughs> like I said, y'all already know. I like it better without the magnet. Next, we got this one. Tinker Pale Rose. Okay. This is giving me that champagne color with just a hint of like pink. So I guess that's where the rose is coming in at. I just love that even though it's a thinner formula, like it still self levels very well. And it's just so pretty. You really don't see the brush strokes. Okay, so that is one coat, a pretty nudish color. All right, so that is the magnet shooting, shooting star, whatever you want to call it. And coat two, yes, I love the color once it's built up with a second coat. I think that is where it definitely shines. Two coats. And two coats with the magnet work. The base color is still really cute. I like it. And this is the last color in this set, Tinker Bronze. Ooh. All right, one coat. And they're pretty similar to the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the magnet. Okay, I do see that the magnet pieces, the little shooting star, it shows up a little better on this one. You know, probably because it's a darker base. All right. And second coat. All right, two coats. That is cute. <laughs> like, all of these work for my skin. I love it. And two coats. All right, she cute. <laughs> so here are all the colors side by side and I take back everything I said. <laughs> they are variations, um, but they're not the same. They similar, but they different. And of course, have to give y'all some of that cell phone flash action. And as you can see, they are so gorgeous and shimmery. Ooh, so cute. <laughs> It's the carrot shining in big bold and it is Kiss New York Gel Pro. It has a cute little diamond on the side. All right, so let's open it up. All right, we got our swatch card. Ooh, it comes with a pen. <laughs> is this a real pen? That is cute. I'm not sure if y'all can see, but it says Kiss New York Gel Pro. Oh, I like pretty pens. <laughs> You're gonna sit you over there. Oh, we can't forget. Let's see. Let's see what this says. To you who are like a jewel that shines brighter than countless stars, we give you 14 precious gifts to help you move forward beautifully. They just talk so, so nice. <laughs> so carrot shining. Oh, it's two. Okay, let's see what the difference is. Oh, we got some more words. I need to know. All right, so that says, even if today is always the same, I will become a softly shining carrot and surround you beautifully. And then this side. On particularly difficult days, I become a brightly shining carrot. I'll make you shine like a jewel. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for the uplifting messages. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with the shining. Okay, how we get out of here? global leader in nail brand. Look at this, Kiss Nail Products Inc. Korea branch. Y'all need to bring this beautiful stuff here. <laughs> when the guy emailed me when I was asking him like, hey, can I order from the site? And y'all just like send me an invoice or something. He's like, we can't sell. And I'm thinking like, why not? It, you in charge. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's other reasoning, but I don't see why you can't make this for a U.S. audience. Okay, we just packed good. Okay, so we got, oh, oh I hate when I pull them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me get these out. All right, so we got this new set here. Look at this. We got a sample of, I'm guessing what the glitter looks like. Um, so anyway, same type of bottle, minus the swatch on the front. And this is Dia Rose Carrot. Okay. <laughs> Let me hold my excitement in. Oh my goodness. Come on, kiss. Why y'all playing? <laughs> Put this on y'all US website. Oh, that is so beautiful. It's really shiny. Oh, oh my goodness. The glitter in this has so much dimension. I'ma show y'all the cell phone, so cause that's that's really gonna show it off. But oh my goodness. Yeah, we getting gold, we getting blue, <laughs> iridescent, like she's shining. Okay, so since we don't have to worry about magnets and all that, I'm gonna do my second coat on the back per usual. All right, that is what two coats of this looks like. <sighs> Glitter makes me happy, what can I say? Um, so this is what it looks like, you know, if you want to put, well, I was just trying to show y'all a different background. Let's see what it looks like on my nail. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, green glowing carrot. Now with the bottle being green, it'd have been so cool if this was like a green base with this glitter. Maybe that is what the other set is. Is that is that what the bold set is? Probably. I don't know. We're gonna find out. But the glitter does have green reflects to it, along with purple and pink and white. Uh, once again, a very dimensional glitter. We got our two coats, and that is what it's looking like. Just with a darker background. Let's see if y'all can tell. You really can't. It's cute, I'm telling y'all. Wait till we see our cell phone footage. Next, we got this one, Light Carrot. And, okay. This glitter, um, you can tell by the brush, it has that pink, kind of light pink base to it. And let's do a second coat. Okay, that's how it's looking, a Light Carrot. And we got this one, Dia White Carrot. All right, this one seems to have a little finer glitter in it, and it's really pretty. <laughs> it looks like crushed diamonds. Oh, just scrumptious. One coat. And two coats. Oh, that is just dreamy. Next, we got this one, Platina Carrot. Ooh, I don't care what the name is. All of these are so beautiful. The glitter, this is definitely shining. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for y'all to see these with the cell phone flash. I mean, they're they're pretty now, but oh my God. My studio lights truly are not doing this justice. <laughs> All right, one coat and two coats. Oh, it is so beautiful, <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> and the last shiny one is this one, Dia Blue Carrot. <laughs> oh, okay, these have gotten these have got to be some of my favorite glitters. So that is one coat. And two coats. Oh, that shimmer, y'all. I can't get over it. All right, here are all of the glitters side by side. Oh, just beautiful. But wait. Oh, but look at them now. Oh, just, just look. They are so beautiful. It's like disco ball. Yeah, these are really nice. 
can pick up this one just so you can just see look the camera can't even stay focused it's so shiny glitter diamonds shiny <laughs> All right, so next is the carrot big bold. I'm, I want to see what the <laughs> what the bold is because the shining was shining. Oh, okay, more glitter. Oh wait. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so the bold ones are still glitters, but it looks like it has chunkier glitter in it. So you know the bold glitter topaz carrot. And, ooh, okay. Yeah, y'all see, y'all see all of this <laughs> different shapes. It's like, I'm seeing at least five different glitters. So yeah, with these, you can, you know, use a sponge to put them on if you want, or you can kind of just dab the glitter where you want it. So that is what that is looking like. Mm. Okay, let's see what a second coat would possibly look like. But you know, you get it. Uh, with the bigger ones, you can definitely see the shine. <laughs> Next, we have this one, Burnt Carrot. All right. I'm trying to get the pieces on here. You know, glitter can be a little finicky like that, especially the chunkier ones. This looks like a party. All right. One coat. And two coats. Party on a nail. <laughs> and then we have this one. Emerald carrot. Mm -hmm. You'll just tap this glitter where you want it to be. These will make great toppers for your favorite base color. So that's one coat. You know, I'm not even sure if this is actually being effective. <laughs> uh, but I'll do it anyway. And two coats. And here's the next one. Moonlight Carrot. And, ooh. Okay. See, as you guys can see, it's not like recycled glitter. They they really have like different colors. Like this one is the chunky pieces are like those iridescent. It's coming up blue, it's coming up green, pink. Like they have variations. And this one have a lot of fine as well. Gives it good coverage. So this is one coat and and two coats. Wow, this one is just on fire. <laughs> it's shining so much. And this is the next one. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> Sapphire Carrot. Ooh. Yeah, I would definitely say these are the bold glitters. They are living up to their name. These are bold. <laughs> But she blew. And two coats. It is a lot going on. <laughs> but that's what she looks like on a nail. This is the next one. Crystal Carrot. And. Okay. We getting silver. Silver and the iridescent flakes. You got to. You got to kind of work with these and make them go where you want them to go. Like so. And if you do two coats. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. And here's the next one. Fuchsia Carrot. And. Oh. <laughs> All right. I like this one. Nice little purple. So. One coat is <laughs> it's blinding me. It's so shiny. And two coats. Wow. Ah, oh, I can't wait to see it with the cell phone light. And the last big bold one is this one. Silvering carrot. <laughs> Silvering. And okay. This one looks a little similar to one of the other ones. I'm sure it's a slight variation like all the other kits. 
Um, but yeah, this one's just pretty, pretty, pretty. Very shiny. Uh, I will give them that. It's bold. It's shiny. <laughs> so that is one coat. But that is what two coats will look like. Y'all can just see how everything is dancing. So here are all the big bold glitters side by side. As you can see, everything has its own little variation, but it's when the light hits it that you can really see how gorgeous these are. Like this one right here, it's just, mm. <laughs> They're all really nice and shiny. Like they definitely make a statement. So now it is time to take care of these nails, okay? Your girl has went another month. And if you guys don't know, this is a natural overlay over my natural nails. And I used the nude patty gel for that. So the first time I did a fill in, um, it was like four weeks out and we're at another four weeks. So I just want to stress that patty gel is strong and durable, okay? So I'm sure the drill bit could take care of these little caviar beads, but we'll just get them off. I am so shocked that they're still on here. I mean, some of them have fallen off, but majority of them are still on. So we're just gonna nip these off. I am just very happy <laughs> that they grew out so nicely. You know, I got a little lifting over there. Um, I use my nails, okay? I was so shocked that, you know, nothing broke. <laughs> but anyway, lightly push back the cuticles because a manicure is way overdue. And then I'm just gonna file off the top coat and the nail design and work on the shaping. So I did the filing, took off the shine and any pieces that lifted up. So now I'm gonna go in with this cuticle bit and we're gonna work around the cuticle. Like I said, it's been a month, so I'm sure we need to get up a lot of skin off of the nail. And as always, being gentle, this should not hurt at all. And then after that, I just, very carefully. I kind of switch between the nippers and the scissors. And lightly cut this little dry piece. This is what I've been doing to get my cuticles to look really snatched. Um, I've been practicing and like I said, I am not a professional. <laughs> So, you know, if you want to try this at home, you know, do, do it with caution. All right, so this is after doing all of my prep. I did go ahead and file down the um, patty gel just a little bit because I want to change the color. But this is what we have now. And yes, my hands a little ashy. So I am gonna be going in with the marshmallow color. This one has a really good shimmer and I kind of want a milky white base so the colors will pop. So now I'm moving on to our base coat and I would like to introduce to you Patty Gel Base and Top Coat. I am so happy to finally be able to share this with you guys. So here it is. This is the top and base coat. It is HEMA free and yes. So you guys wanted to know like how I was making these last so long and it was this. <laughs> we can finally share. This will make your patty gel nails last like a month plus, okay? So as you guys know, I love a good top coat. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good top coat. I love a good base coat. So yes, it's been a long time coming, but I am so excited about this. I know it may just be a base in a top coat, but this is just a start, okay? I love a top coat. And this right here, ah, oh, 
I, I love this formula and I think you guys are gonna love it as well. And of course, because we are DIY girlies, I wanted to make it as safe as possible. So we went with a HEMA free formula. And FYI, if you guys didn't know, the patty gels are also HEMA free. So we can get started with the application and I am so excited to be able to finally share that with you guys. So we're gonna go in with the patty gel base coat. All right, so we're just gonna go in as close as we can to the cuticle without touching. Normally I would just put it on um, the natural nail, but because I filed down so thinly and you know, we just wanna make sure it's all over where it needs to be. So I'm just gonna put it all over the nail. A very thin coat, you don't need much. All right, base coat is all on. And I forgot to mention you need to cure the base and the top coat for 60 seconds. Okay, so now going in with the marshmallow. All right, and taking a little bit on the manicure stick. Mm, probably don't even need this much, but we will get the rest of it off. And dipping a stick in the alcohol, I'm just going to mold this in place. This has been the technique I use, and it's a little bit easier to spread it about you know, if you're having difficulty with it being too sticky, which it's not, <laughs> um, but you know, this is this will help with an easier application. So I use the manicure stick to kind of form it and put it where I need it to be. And then we'll smooth everything out with the brush. And if you feel like the stick is sticking too much, dip it back in the alcohol. And for my slip solution, I use a 91% alcohol, but 75% and up works as well. But yeah, I did use a little bit too much. But as you can see, the marshmallow has really pretty shimmer as well. So I think that this will go well with whatever nail design I'm doing. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> because my nails are crooked, as you can see, they like, they're, well, I kind of fixed the shaping, but they grow you know, down into a curve to keep them looking, you know, the shape that I want. On the tips, I do have to add a little bit more product and kind of fix the shape, if that makes sense. So we're gonna take the patty gel brush and do the smoothing. And with that, just smooth everything out. And making sure that cuticle is nice and tight. But as you guys know, if you've tried the patty gel, it does have a thicker consistency. So, you know, it's easier to kind of mold. It's not gonna run all over the place. So it's a little bit thicker than what I want. So I'm gonna take the extra off. Okay. And just continue with our thin overlay. I have really been enjoying watching my natural nails grow. I haven't had my nails grow like this since I was pregnant with my last baby. Um, the nails were just growing effortlessly. But your girl is still taking vitamins and stuff, so I'm sure that's helping, but they just look so good. I am really happy. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue to perfect this shape and give a little bit of contrast here. Okay, there we go. It's a little wonky on one side, but we gonna fix that. Just kinda trying to make the end of this look as nice and crisp as possible. Trying to do most of like the shape that I want so we don't have to file too much. Ooh, but that's looking good and just Smooth, smooth, smooth. Don't want too much on the side. All right, so I'm just gonna do this for all of the nails. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we got all of the patty gel laid. So I'm gonna take some alcohol and wipe off the tacky layer because we gotta file and shape a little bit. So we don't want our file to get all yucky with the tacky layer. Okay, one time for the marshmallow patty gel. <laughs> okay, so we got a file and shake. Mm. 
All right, nails are all filed, shaped, and buffed. So I'm gonna go in with some base coat. And not only does it help your patty gel nails last, but it is a base coat for gel polish as well. So this is just gonna ensure that the polish goes on as smooth as possible. Ooh, and we get a sneak peek of what it looks like <laughs> with just the marshmallow patty gel. But make sure to keep this layer kind of thin. Ooh. Oh, this is just making me want to wear the nails like this. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with this one. This is the Tinker Haze. And we're just going to paint. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to do two coats of this. But I like this little iridescentness. I'm not going to use the magnet because as y'all see, it's not bad with the magnet, but I think it looks better without it. And then I'm gonna go in with the top coat. And this is everything that I love in a top coat. So y'all know I like it a little thicker so it doesn't flood the cuticle. And super shiny. So I'm just gonna top coat all of these and then cure for 60 seconds. All right, so this is after curing and I know y'all see that shine. <laughs> and I also wanna mention that of course it is a no wipe. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with some of these charms that I got from Glam Susie. I got them a while ago, but you know, I always, always keep them on standby. Just taking a little bit of some rhinestone glue. I want to put some right here. So just a little blob. And I really like this little rose bouquet. So we're going to put this down here. Yeah, the way she makes her charms are um, the underside, like she she has the curve in them, so it works really good. So we're going to set this right here. This is my, you know, safe hand. This is my life working around in my life hand, but I've been doing plain nails for the past couple months, so I want to add a little charm. Okay, so I like that. Let me go ahead and cure that. And there's some petals that I want to put down. So we're going to do that. Just a little dot. And so we're going to place them right here. Aren't these charms beautiful? I keep some of her charms, okay? <laughs> they come in handy too when like, you know, you want some something cute, you know, low effort. <laughs> and for the life of me, I cannot get my acrylic roses to look like that. I know how it's done. I just can't execute it <laughs> so i would gladly pay miss Susie to do my acrylic roses and petals so here is the finished look just some little dainty purple nails i am loving this polish it is so just shimmery and just right up my alley so hopefully these charms will last me a month because <laughs> that's probably the next time i'm gonna do this hand again so yeah as you can see some little eevee nails <laughs> <laughs> so how did y'all like the Korean version of the Kiss Gel polishes? I like them a lot. So are you going to try to get them as well? If you do, let me know. And if you're interested in the Patty Gel base and top coat, it is available on my website, longcareprettynails.com, or you can shop the links down below. So if you want to see more Korean nail products, check out these videos right here, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.